Hey, Kevin Z from My Wi-Fi Networks, and I am excited to announce that our all-new automatic firmware updater is now live in the My Wi-Fi platform. Now, you might ask yourself, why update your firmware? Well, number one, you get better performance. Number two, better diagnostics. And number three, it enables support for our all-new upcoming features. Which devices are supported to have an automatic firmware upgrade? These include our all-new SH100 metal devices, all TP-Link devices, if you have any 841s or C7s or any TP-Link device, our firmware can be updated as well, and the mini demo device. So how do you update your firmware in the interface? Now first, very important, before you update, you need to ensure that your device is plugged in and online. So if you're not online with that green light, you're not gonna see the update firmware option. So you have to make sure that your device is plugged in online and also make sure that you're plugged into a stable internet connection. So how do you know if your device firmware needs to be updated? You'll notice when looking for your device that your model number now includes a firmware version. This firmware version, if in yellow, means you need to update your firmware. So what you'd first do is click on the edit device, a little pencil icon. Then you'll notice that you'll have an upgrade firmware button now present in the interface. Let me hop over to our actual interface here to show you how this looks. So I'll see over here, I have some devices over here, some need updating. I'll see that someone is in yellow. If I click on edit this device, I'll then see that uh, an upgrade is available for this device. I click on upgrade firmware and I'm told an important notice. So just to blow this out for you guys and may really make sure you understand, um, you have to make sure that the firmware upgrade will automatically update the device to the latest firmware once you confirm this. So make sure that you're connected to a consistent and stable internet connection. It's not recommended you do this while you're connected to a 3G or 4G or wireless connection of any type. This upgrade process begins in about 30 seconds and it takes about five minutes to do. So make sure that you're connected and everything's all stable for just five minutes. Uh, your rattle will complete the entire upgrade automatically and reboot normally to an operative state. So everything will happen automatically. And after that's done, no further action is required. So what I'm going to do here uh, on this live device is click on confirm upgrade. So again, I'm making sure that I'm plugged in, I'm green and I have a stable internet connection. I click on confirm. And it's going to update this device, and you don't have to do anything else over here. You can close it down. You're going to see now that this is actually updating. So the upgrade is now in progress. If I open up this device, it's going to show me that this upgrade is happening, upgrade in progress. And as mentioned, just you know, grab a coffee, chill out, keep calm, and wait five minutes. You'll notice as soon as it's updated, it'll switch to gray. It will no longer be yellow, and this means you are all good. All right, these upgrades are essential to enable some of our new features available for agency partners, such as our PayPal, our Stripe, all kinds of cool new options available in the platform. So make sure you do upgrade as soon as possible. Make sure you plug your devices online, click on upgrade, and you'll notice that everything is good once you are all great. If you have any questions, please make sure you submit a ticket at support.mywifi.io. That is the best way for us to help you. And I look forward to releasing our all new features shortly. But in the interim, make sure you upgrade your devices by clicking and following this process. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the Facebook group.